Spots on tomatoes, holes in hosta leaves, and wilting stems mean insects and diseases have moved into the garden. Don't let these intruders reduce the beauty and productivity of your landscape. Work with nature to prevent and control these pests and you'll be rewarded with a bountiful harvest and landscape filled with beautiful blooms. Check plants often for signs of insects and disease. Look for discolored leaves, spots, holes, and wilting. Inspect the underside of the leaves and along the stems to uncover the cause of the problem. Regular inspections allow you to discover problems earlier, making it easier to manage them. Once you discover a problem, identify the culprit. Your local extension service, garden center, or reliable internet resource can help. Once the culprit's identified, you can plan the best way to manage it. Toads, lady beetles, and birds help control many garden pests. Attract them to the garden by planting herbs and flowers to bring in beneficial insects, adding a house for the toads and bird bath for songbirds. Avoid using pesticides and tolerate a bit of damage. A few aphids or caterpillars will bring in the lady beetles, lacewings, birds, and toads that are looking for a meal. You can prevent many insects and diseases with a bit of garden cleanup. A strong blast of water from the garden hose will dislodge aphids and mites, reducing their damage to a tolerable level. Or knock leaf-eating beetles and other larger insects off the plants and into a can of soapy water. Pick off discolored leaves, prune off diseased stems, and destroy. Be sure to disinfect tools with 70% alcohol or a one-part bleach to nine parts water solution between cuts to reduce the risk of spreading disease. Reduce the spread and risk of future problems with a few minor changes to your landscape maintenance. Use drip irrigation or soaker hoses and avoid overhead and nighttime watering that can increase the risk of disease. Use an organic nitrogen fertilizer like Milorganite that encourages slow, steady growth that is less susceptible to insect and disease attacks. Mulch the soil with shredded leaves, evergreen needles, or wood chips. This will keep roots cool and moist during drought improve the soil as they decompose, but also prevent soil-borne diseases from splashing onto and infecting the plants. If the problems continue, try some non-chemical options for insects. A yellow bowl filled with soapy water can attract aphids, a shallow can filled with beer and sunk in the ground for slugs, and crumpled paper under a flower pot for earwigs are just a few ways to trap and kill these pests or cover the plants with floating row covers. These fabrics allow air, light, and water through, but prevent insects like bean beetles and cabbage worms from reaching and damaging the plants. Organic products like insecticidal soap, neem, horticulture oil, and Bacillus thuringiensis can be used to control specific pests. And always read and follow label directions carefully, even when using organic products. Make notes on the problems and solutions in this season's garden. Refer to these next year to help you do a better job of monitoring and managing garden pests. And when shopping for new plants, select the right plant for the location and choose the most pest-resistant varieties. A little eco-friendly gardening can go a long way in creating a beautiful and productive garden.